One of the downsides of dealing with disingenuous bug man, uh, social justice warriors who are pathological liars is it can be frustrating to ever even bother arguing with them. In fact, I don't even know why I actually do that anymore because it's actually not really possible to do. See, I can make a 30 minute video talking about why Invincible sucks and it's not like a repetitive video. It is 30 minutes of important interconnected general reasons why this show sucks. And I remember starting this video saying, I'm going to be brief about the social justice warrior um, issues with the show, the far leftist propaganda in this show. I'm going to be brief about it because I talked mostly about that in my Invincible Sucks episodes one through three video. And then I'm going to go on to describe every single compositional artistic, um, dialogue, uh, editing problem with this show. And that's what I did for the next 27 minutes of that video. Uh, the entire fucking comment section is full of angry people who are only arguing about the first two minutes of that second review, episodes four through eight. Uh, uh, Amber's not a white name. I mean, even though Amber's white in the comics, you know, no, no, Amber can... It's totally not a black name. You're an SJW and a racist if you say Amber's a white name. Amber's a white name. And then they they, were, they started arguing amongst themselves, going like, well, that's like racist to say like Washington's a black name, except for thousands upon thousands of freed slaves took the last name Washington when the slaves were freed in America, meaning that Washington is a common African-American name. And to deny that is to lie because it is an objective fact. And so like what I want to do with this video, and I'm going to try to keep this video under five minutes so that maybe a freaking low IQ bug man can fucking understand and grasp what I'm trying to ask them here is why did you like Invincible? Because not only did not a single fan of Invincible explain why I'm wrong about Invincible in my comment section. Not that I have like the hugest sample size. I'm not saying it's impossible. That's why I'm actively challenging fans of the show to do so now in the comments. What is good about this show? Because I said positive things about this show in that video that were not addressed by any of the fans because they didn't get to the point in the video where I was talking about that. I understand it's a long video. You have ADHD. You're not very smart. You may or may not be a teenager who just doesn't have the fucking the time or the willpower to actually listen to somebody criticize your bug man bullshit. Um, why is it good? And why is it not bad? Now, the second one I'm gonna it's gonna be okay if you don't answer, because I know you're incapable of listening to criticism. But what does the show do well? And even more importantly, what does the show do better or at least differently than other popular Bugman cape shit? Because I would say, one, what does the show do well? Very little. Dialogue, mostly. Um, and not dialogue, I mean voice acting, because actually the written dialogue on the show is garbage. <laughs> um, next. What does the show do differently than, say, Spider-Man Homecoming? Which is what this show feels exactly like. Uh, I would say Invincible is really, really close to just like an outright homage. Not quite a rip-off, but like a full-blown fan uh, fiction version of Spider-Man Homecoming. It is not fundamentally different than anything Marvel's doing. At all. There's only one thing it does differently. And you know what it is. It starts with a G and ends with an OR. It's gore. That's it. Stop embarrassing yourselves and stop lying. It's okay to like garbage, but we all know why you can't admit you like garbage. Because you know it doesn't reflect well on you or your politics for you to lie and admit that the show is not wall-to-wall -wall political propaganda when it is. And it's not... Okay for you to lie and say that the show is reductive and lazy and edited poorly and rushes through literally about 180 comic issues in eight episodes. You can't tell me that's not rushed. It's objectively true. 
And that's why a lot of fans of the Invincible comic that I've met, they're out there. I, I'd never heard of this comic before the show came out. But I've met fans of this comic, and they hate this show. Explain that to me. Thanks for watching.